If you recently purchased a Census AMR or AMI solution, one of the first things you're going to have to do is install smart points, Census smart points to your existing meter population. Um, one of the uh, most important smart points out there is our uh, industrial smart point, uh, which is typically used on a pulse out style meter or other instrumentation. Uh, for our purposes today, we're going to be using a 700 GM smart point an AMR AMI mounting bracket, and a Sonics, uh, Census Sonics uh, ultrasonic meter. The 700 and 900 GM smart points come in three different pieces, a front cover, the smart point itself, and a back plate. Take, the, uh, take a flathead screwdriver and pop the smart point out of the back housing. Perfect. And you should have three pieces like this. In order to attach the back plate to the census uh, AMR AMI bracket, you're going, you'll notice that there's four different screw holes uh, on the AMR AMI bracket. We're going to be using the bottom two uh, to mount the back plate before we uh, install the smart point. So line up the two screw holes on the back plate with the two screw holes we just referenced. And you're going to use the um, pan head screw to mount. Use a flathead screwdriver to install the screws. And I usually like to get one started and then drop in the next one. Uh, this is probably a good opportunity to mention that uh, this is one way to install the back plate, um, basically on a, uh, a wall or uh, AMR bracket mount. Uh, the other way is with the um, pole mount adapter that you see there. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are not going to be going through that, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your census distributor like Holland Supply Company or Census Technical Support. And I like to leave these a little loose because the next phase or the next step here is going to be adding the uh, lock washer to the back. And you go ahead and get those seated. We're not going to use the uh, washers or the lock rings um, for this one uh, as that's just required for the pole mount. And go ahead and get those started. A little more. And kind of just hold this back wa this uh, back washer here with a couple of fingers and just snug up the flathead screw or pan head screw to the bracket. All right, should be your almost finished product. We're going to add the smart point by snapping it back in place and then a finished product should look like this with the front cover sitting on the bracket as so. Our next step here is to wire the 700 GM smart point to the Sonics meter. And you remove the front cover by pushing these little tabs on the side here. 
Be careful. Uh, these have been known to snap, especially in cold weather conditions. On each 7 or 900 GM, you're going to have two different ports, uh, two for the 700 GM and three for the 900 GM. Uh, for the purposes of wiring a Sonix meter uh, to a uh, 700 GM, it only requires two wires plus a small jumper um, to be wired into the terminal. Port 1 is always going to be on the right side of the smart point, no matter whether it's a 700 GM or a 900 GM. All right, so we're going to uh, strip back the casing on the uh, Sonics uh, pulse wire. And I find that if you're using a standard pair of wire strippers, the 12, the 1012 is going to be your best for this. Inside, you'll see two different wires. One is a positive, which is going to be your red, and the uh, negative, which is going to be your ground, which is black. You'll we'll also need to strip those back using the 1820 right at the top. And you really only want to see about a quarter of an inch of, uh, of wire um, exposed. Uh, that's basically so that uh, the sheathing that's sitting, um, the red sheathing or black sheathing, uh, basically butts right up against that terminal and you see no exposed wire once you uh, basically add that to the terminal ports. If you do leave exposed, uh, exposed pulse wire, um, just know that this is a very small electrical impulse and essentially what can happen is if any water or moisture gets in and it bridges the gap between these two meters, it can send false readings. Uh, basically, it can send a false pulse, which is equivalent to a false uh, reading uh, for, your, for your consumption values. All right, we're gonna be using uh, basically uh, port 12, which is, or terminal 12 on port 1, which is the pulse in, and the uh, terminal 14, which is our ground. So take your terminal screwdriver, make sure that port 12, and if you ever get confused, you can simply just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Back out your terminal screw just slightly and add the positive or red wire to the terminal. Tighten down until just snug. These are relatively easy. This is a very small electrical component, so you just want to be careful. Uh, once you really feel it set, you shouldn't use more than about two fingers to finally tighten that screw down. And give it a slight pull just to make sure that it's seated correctly. We'll do the same thing on Terminal 14, just make sure that's backed out a little bit, and add your ground or your black wire, and once again tighten until snug. Do not over tighten, I see this all the time, where essentially the, uh, the screw gets, gets bound. All right. The census smart points do include a cut wire alarm. Uh, so if anything happens to this wire coming from the Sonics meter to the smart point, um, basically an alarm is triggered uh, in either your AMR route or immediately in an AMI network. Um, if you do choose to uh, bypass that cut wire alarm, which many people do, uh, the easiest way to do that is essentially take a small piece of 20 or 18 gauge wire uh, take, uh, strip both ends of it. The cut wire alarm is uh, 13 here. And essentially all you need to do is add that to any open terminal. Um, add the, put one side of the wire into the cut wire alarm and then the other, uh, the other end into any open terminal uh, on, on the board. So we will give an example here and we will put this white wire in one end of the white wire into terminal 13 and then another end 
into this open or unused port on port 15. Okay. On the bottom of this smart point, and I'll remove this just for example purposes, there are basically tensioners uh, that prevent, uh, that you'll want to slide this pulse wire into. This basically prevents um, any type of pulling activity to actually uh, remove the existing wires uh, from the ports themselves. So you can see I'm giving it a little pull and nothing's happening. You do want to make sure that that is uh, installed appropriately. So add your cover back to the front of the smart point and you should hear it snap in place. And now we'll move on to activation. So we've successfully installed the smart point. Next step is going to be to activate it. And for that, you're going to need a handheld device running FieldLogic tools along with your command link. Proper placement is going to be on the right side of the smart point uh, with the power button facing towards you during activation. So wrap that strap around there, tighten up if needed. And the FlexNet ID is found uh, actually on the side of the smart point, uh, the right, the, and should be facing towards you. So we will notate that FlexNet ID or scan it in with the barcode. And the FieldLogic Tools program will go through a series of prompts telling you that it's found the product that it's looking for. Um, and begin to go through an auditing process. Once that's complete, uh, you should, your next screen should be a screen that says that this device is not active if it's a new smart point, and you'll simply select activate. After uh, selecting activate, it will, do a, uh, it will test the battery and go through a couple of other prompts on your screen, and you'll just wanna make sure you select the appropriate configuration uh, for this smart point. Uh, for more information on product configurations or smart point configurations, uh, contact your distributor or uh, census tech support. So knowing that we have six dials that are populated on this meter, we're going to select the product configuration that has six digits or six dials. And you'll enter the corrected reading, which in this case is 0005 and select next. and then enter the meter ID, which is found here uh, on the front of most Sonics, on, of all Sonics meters. Um, other pulse out style, style meters could be located uh, in, in another location. S16. And at this point, that's the final step for uh, uh, activating the meter, um, you'll select next, and the FieldLogic program will apply the settings uh, to the smart point. Upon sex successful activation, uh, the device, your handheld device, will say successful activation, uh, and you've successfully installed your first smart point.